Hello everyone and welcome to Ecology. My name is Dr. Jennifer Baltzer and I'm delighted to be your instructor for this term. Just to start off a little bit about me since we may not get the chance to meet in person. Um, first of all, I'm a, I'm a Canada Research Chair in Forests and Global Change and an Associate Professor in the Biology Department. My research has taken me from the tropics all the way up to the Arctic tree line. So I've worked in forested ecosystems, pretty much every type of forested ecosystem on the planet. Um, I have two kids. Uh, who are a little bit bigger than that now, but I love that picture of us exploring the north together. Um, I have two dogs and I have a lizard. Um, that's kind of me in a nutshell, I guess. Uh, I, I'm a forest ecologist, as I mentioned, and my lab is the Forest Ecology Research Group. Um, and we do a whole range of things, predominantly focused in boreal ecosystems in, in northern Canada. Um, we work on problems relating to climate warming impacts on those forests, the direct impacts of climate warming, but also indirect impacts including permafrost thaw. So here we have a couple of students doing some permafrost coring, wildfire disturbance, um, and, um, and as I mentioned, the direct impacts of climate warming. Now we work from a, at a variety of scales and we'll be learning about scales in ecology soon, um, but we work from kind of the, the leaf level, uh, measuring physiological rates to the whole plant level. Here's Nia installing some sap flow sensors to measure water use in trees. Um, at, to, the, to the ecosystem level, and you can see Kristen here doing measurements of vegetation community and paired soil sampling. So, um, and then we scale this up to the landscape scale. So we really work across all these different scales in ecology in my group, all focused in forest ecosystems. Okay, back to the course. So ecology, why are you here? What are you gonna learn? Um, so the first course goal is understanding fundamental ecological principles and theories. So this is, this is a big one. There's lots of things that we need to learn about at, across scale. So how do individual organisms interact with their environment? Looking at the growth and regulation of populations within suitable habitats across their range. Um, the nature of change within communities and ecosystems. So you can see we're getting big, larger and larger in scale and important landscape level considerations. So this is the first goal, thinking about these different scales of ecological organization um, and, and the theories and, and principles associated with those. Uh, second is the awareness of the interconnectedness among major ecological concepts and current ecological problems. This course will be taught through a lens of um, various ecological challenges that we face, um, or challenge societal challenges that we face really, um, most notably climate warming um, and habitat loss and degradation, and thinking about how those major changes to our environments worldwide impact the way um, organisms interact with the environment and with one another, and how they carry out their, their respective functions. By the end of the course, your ability to evaluate ecological research, um, considering the current global and societal ecological needs, including climate change, habitat loss, and fragmentation and ecosystem services will be improved. So we're hoping by the end of the course that you'll be able to think about these ecological problems in this, in these larger, um, in this larger context. And finally, um, by the end of the course, you, um, we expect to see increased scientific literacy and further development of competencies, including critical analysis of information, teamwork, communication, problem identification, and information synthesis. And this will be achieved through various um, activities, uh, including um, online activities where you're working through quantitative problems, uh, critical thinking, applying the theories and principles that you learn in class to um, problems that you haven't encountered before, working together to synthesize ecological information and convey this, to communicate this. So we'll be using various tools to get to these endpoints. Okay, so um, as you all know at this point, this term is going to be a little bit different than any of us hoped for. 
Um, unfortunately, due to the ongoing public health issues associated with um, COVID-19 and specifically this Omicron variant, um, we're going to be online until at least January 31st, possibly beyond there, depending on depending on decisions from the from the from public health and the university. To ensure equitable, equitable access to lectures, I'm going to be recording lectures and posting them on a YouTube channel. I will also post the lecture slides for you to work through in case there's anything you can't see on these, um, on these uh, uh, recordings that I make. And certainly please reach out to me if there are challenges or problems associated with any of the videos that I'm making. I'm happy to modify this. This is my first time through this course. And so we're gonna have to work together to figure out the best way to, to make this happen through the term. We are also gonna have synchronous Meet the Scientist days. So I have um, invited a number of colleagues who work on different topics in ecology to come and chat with you about their work, how they got to their position. Um, all of these scientists are in, in different roles from non-governmental organizations to government to academia. So um, working, bringing in these folks to talk to you about the, the, the work that they do, how they got to where they are, um, and thinking about how their work applies to the concepts that we're learning in class. This is the goal of these Meet the Scientist days. We'll also have synchronous weekly meetings. The goal of these will be for you to have the opportunity to ask questions about the material that I've covered in the asynchronous lectures. So this will be sort of a, an informal time. Um, any questions that I have received via the classroom discussion forum, I will go over that material in class. So if you're going through the lectures and you're like, ah, I don't understand what she was talking about here, um, you can just post a, a note in the discussion forum or email me via my learning space email. Um, and I'll make sure to build that into the synchronous um, discussion time in, in the in-class in in -class period. So we'll have that weekly. Um, typically, I will hold these on Thursday. If we have a Meet the Scientist scheduled on the Thursday, then I'll shift it to the Tuesday. But this will all be very clear in the calendar on my learning space. Student hours will also be virtual. These will be Tuesdays at 4 p.m. This is going to be an open Zoom, so it's going to be a drop-in session. Um, anyone is welcome to join, uh, but it will be everybody in the same in the same room. So if there's anything that you have that you wish to discuss with me one-on-one, -on -one, it's best to email me at my learning space email and set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And I'm very happy to accommodate that. And finally, we'll have a My Learning Space discussion forum for the class, for all of you to interact with one another, for you to post um, questions to the, to the discussion, um, for you to um, uh, engage with one another and with me about the course content. I will also have other discussion, uh, other chats and discussions open on the forum, or on the My, I'm on my Learning Space to build in, um, opportunity for us to discuss specific topics. The first of these will actually happen this week um, and it will have to do with content that we'll cover on Thursday. Okay, so remote learning. You are all uh, sadly experts at this at this point. Um, so as you all know, we use Zoom. Um, we, we use Zoom for the classroom uh, when we're doing synchronous lectures and you'll log on to Zoom using your Laurier credentials. Uh, these Zoom meetings will be posted in our My Learning Space for the class. Um, so when we're meeting synchronously, keep your microphone off to avoid accidental interruptions. You're welcome to have your camera on or off, depending on your comfort level. Have your, have your background faded if you're on or not, whatever, whatever works for you. Um, but let's try to make sure that we have as little interruption during the classroom time by keeping our microphones off unless you're asking a question. Uh, as I mentioned already, course materials are organized on my learning space. The syllabus is already there. Uh, please do take the opportunity to read through this syllabus. There's a lot of important information, including information on accessing your e-textbook, um, evaluation for the course, all of the learning outcome um, details that I've already gone through, additional resources on campus. If you're having any, any problems this term, 
there are lots of resources for you to access on campus so please please take a look at the syllabus and um, reach out if you have any questions about the material in the syllabus and eight, both asynchronous and synchronous lectures will be posted on the YouTube channel and, and in my learning space I will post the slides themselves so you'll have both of those resources to work from to study from the course text is Ecology, the fifth edition by William Bowman and Sally Hacker. Uh, I will be, we'll, we'll be using this very um, intensively through the course. As you'll notice as we're going through the lectures, a lot of the example um, figures are taken from the text and we'll be following the text chapters as outlined in the weekly lecture schedule in the syllabus. So. Um, this this, e -te this text is available as an e-text and you should have already received an email about that um, and you'll receive a number of emails reminding you of the adoption policies and the opt-out deadline as well. So make sure you pay attention to those emails, read those emails. I've also outlined all of that information in the course syllabus. Um, as I mentioned, student hours are Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Um, by Zoom or you can reach out to me and set up an appointment. Okay, now last but not least, the evaluation. Um, this is, of course, changed a little as we shifted to the online environment. Um, we are going to have a number of online exercises. I am going to be posting six different online exercises through the term. Uh, your answers will be um, your answers will be submitted through my learning space um, and you will be graded on or I will take your top five grades out of six. So this is worth 25%. Each online assignment will be worth 5%. And again, you'll have the opportunity to drop one. So if you, you know, if you're really busy one week and you happen to not be able to get that assignment done, just make sure you do the other five and you won't be penalized for that. We'll have one midterm. Um, it will be a virtual midterm unless things change quite dramatically in the near future. Uh, that, that midterm will be worth 25%. It will be multiple choice and true and false questions. We're gonna do a minute ecology assignment. And when I send out this assignment, I'll send links to a really neat um, set of science communication videos called Minute Earth. And what I'm gonna ask you to do for this minute ecology assignment is to create uh, a short video on a, on a small topic in ecology um, where you basically teach that topic through in, in very plain language communication. So the idea here is for you to learn a topic, synthesize that topic, and be able to communicate it in very plain language um, to you know any audience. And we'll have a final exam. Again, the, the nature of this will be dictated by how, how things go throughout the pandemic. Um, but um, that will be um, worth 35%. So that's the, that's the syllabus in a nutshell. Um, I am really looking forward to working with you all this term. Uh, I look forward to meeting you in our Zoom space, in our synchronous classrooms, and I'm really excited to meet all these wonderful scientists that we have coming in visiting the classroom. So with that, I will say farewell and um, see you in the next lecture.